Hello! Wednesdays is officially Wacky Wednesdays. So we're going to be doing very colorful looks only on Wednesdays. Please do not forget to subscribe to my channel and then hit the notification bell so you can be notified every time there is a new video. If you have any questions for me, you can see all of my other social media websites down below in the description and I list everything that I use in the description. So if you have any questions, please let me know. And without further ado, let's get on with the video. We have the sun, guys! Going in with our Infallible. I will seriously never waste money on high-end makeup ever again, I promise you. We're gonna go in with our Smashbox. So you can think whatever you want, but I this tip the other day on using on how to do your eyebrows, and of course you can go in with pencil, um, you can use whatever you normally would use, but I did see this little hack, and you take an eyeshadow that's relatively close to the same color as your eyebrow. I recommend using a matte eyeshadow for this and something a little dark, so I'm gonna go in with this brown right here. If you want a bolder eyebrow, I recommend doing this. I recommend using a very skinny, skinny, skinny brush just because if you want to get fine lines in there, you're going to have to use something that's really, really precise. There's that eyebrow. I'm going to do the other eyebrow off camera. Eyebrows are done. Eyebrows are sisters, not twins. Me and my sister look nothing alike. She is freckles with red hair, very much darker complexion than I do. And then there's me. So, okay, it's been about five minutes since I put this on, so I'm going to go ahead and take it off. Contouring is done, but we're going to go in with bronzer. Then we're going to go in and do our nose. For our highlight, we're going to go in to this palette. I'm going to pick up Mystic Rain. So Wednesdays are going to be my Wacky Wednesdays, that's what I'm going to call them. And that's super colorful, super weird colors that we don't, are not always going to try. Hence why I'm doing a pink and purple and blue and I don't even know what other colors I see in this. As you can tell, like looking straight at my eyes, I have hooded eyes. I know a lot of people struggle with this. So I wanted to kind of show you how you can widen your eyes. It's been a process for me to figure out how to get from hooded eyes and horrible makeup to hooded eyes and amazing makeup. Hold on. Okay, so there's So before we go into that, my setting spray and give myself a few sprays. That tastes wonderful. Well, for hooded eyes, you want your lid to be light. You want your lid to be light. That's where all the light colors are. Dark colors are going to be up top so you can create a fake crease. 
So for a transition color, I go in with something that's going to be more my skin tone, so it's easier to blend everything out. I go in with Georgia right here, and this is from the Too Faced Sweet Peach Palette, which smells like peaches. This one is matte, so I'm not getting any glitter from it yet, and I'm not touching the lid. I'm only going right where I want my crease to be. Just hold your brush at the end of at the end of it obviously and it's gonna give you less pressure you're gonna be able to blend easier because you have more control but less control I don't know if that makes sense to you guys and then what you want to do is go in with a darker shade right on the crease and that's going to give you your fake crease look so I'm gonna go into this palette that we used for our eyebrows I'm gonna go into this brown right here and it's just gonna create depth in your eye and you just do it right there and again hold a brush at the end Start off with very little, because you can always build up. So see our eyes have depth now. Now we can go in to fun colors, which I'm excited about. So I think we're going to do like a pink crease cut today. I know I want to dip into this palette since it has these pinks dip into young and free these brushes are very appropriate for today and i would do that all over the lid and kind of avoid the inner eye area and then there's a tip that you can do if you want to have a defined line. You can take something and that's going to stop your makeup, if that makes sense. the rainbow life which is this one and I'm going to take this tapered brush just on the outside V and a little bit in the crease this probably looks really retarded and I'm sorry I'm just trying to show you that makeup can be very very easy with the tools that you have around you we're going to take our tarp shaped tape that we did not use today but we're still going to use it because I love it and then we're just going to I recommend starting at the top and then coming down. Come down. So our crease cut is done. I'm going to go in with this pink right here. And I'm going to dip also into this one as well. So we're going to use this one and this one. And you can see like the line right there. So then what you do is take you take the same brush that you used and you dip into Rainbow Life and Young and Free again and that's when you just start blending it out The blending process for right where it meets is going to take a little bit just because you want it to look as natural as possible for blending. And then for the outer corners, we're going to take Fantasy and I'm just doing it in the outer V. And 
And then because we're being colorful AF today, I'm actually going to take this color, which is Dusk Teal Dawn, and I'm going to put it on the lower lash. And then what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to take this blue right here. I'm going to create a wing. I kind of dig it. I don't even do eyeliner today because I created an eyeliner. We are going to put mascara on though. <laughs> so, we're going to go into our Thrive Cosmetics and I'm going to pull out the Better Than Sex. Um, I don't like using it because it is waterproof, but I think today we're going to use it. This is like some stuff that you would wear at like a gender reveal party. Like, you want it to be a girl, but there's some hints of boy in there. That's like how I feel with my... Because we're not finding out the gender. That's what I feel. I want it to be a girl. But deep down in there, it's probably going to be a boy. Maybelline. And this is the Superstay Matte Pink. And then you go on with your Master Chrome since it's pink. Pick up a little bit. Put it in the middle. There's your Wacky Wednesday. And there's the look today, guys. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. This was just out of the woodworks. No idea where this look came from. But if you enjoyed what you saw today, Please do not forget to subscribe to my channel and then hit the notification bell so you can be notified every time there is a new video. Like I said, there is going to be Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. So, uh, Wednesdays is officially Wacky Wednesdays. So, we're going to do bomb-ass, awesome, colorful makeup looks like this every Wednesday now. And then Mondays and Fridays, I'm not sure yet. We'll see where that goes. But... I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I love you and thank you for all of your support.